In the ancient world, hair was a symbol of identity. In ancient Egypt, for instance, men and women shaved their heads for cleanliness and wore wigs as a status symbol. The more elaborate the wig, the higher the social standing. Then came the Greeks and Romans, where women often wore their hair up in elaborate styles, adorned with jewels and hairpins. In Rome, hair color was used to demonstrate a person's social class. Poor people would color their hair black, while blonde hair was highly favored. Men, on the other hand, preferred short hair and beards, though in Rome, shaving became a rite of passage for young men. Zooming into the Middle Ages, noble women wore their hair in complex braids and coils, often covered by veils or head tresses. Men sported short hair and neatly trimmed beards. The Renaissance brought with it a love for loose, flowing locks for women. Men, however, began to wear their hair shorter and their faces clean-shaven. Then, the Victorian era saw women wearing their hair in intricate updos, while men kept their hair short and neat, often accompanied by a mustache or a full beard. Fast forward to the Roaring Twenties, where short bobbed hair became the rage among women, symbolizing their newfound freedom and independence. Men kept their hair slicked back or parted, often sporting a clean-shaven look. The 50s saw the rise of glamorous waves and curls for women, while men sported the classic pompadour. The 60s and 70s brought with them a revolution of sorts, with women embracing their natural hair, often sporting long, straight styles or afros. Men too wore their hair longer, often with beards or mustaches. The 80s and 90s saw a variety of trends, from the big, voluminous hair of the 80s to the sleek, straight styles of the 90s. Men's hair varied from mullets and mohawks to buzz cuts and grunge-inspired looks. In recent years, there's been a return to natural, healthy hair, Trends have become more diverse and inclusive, with people now embracing their natural hair texture and color. That's the beauty of hair trends. They evolve, they change, and they often come back in new, intriguing ways. So, what will the future of hair trends hold? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. Hair will continue to be a powerful form of self-expression for generations to come. If you enjoyed this journey through the history of hair, do consider subscribing to the channel. We've got lots more intriguing content lined up for you. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and stay beautiful.